Some cities and towns are hot spots for the virus. Just this week, the state elevated Framingham to a high-risk community. As Nick Emmons reports, since Monday, more than 20 people in the city have tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah, the city has seen a steady uptick in COVID-19 cases over the past month, so much so that the state now considers residents to be at extremely high risk of infection. But now we're experiencing a small surge of new cases. A new warning for residents in Framingham. The city, now one of nine communities considered by the state to be at high risk of COVID-19. Right now, there are 145 active cases in the city. We are certainly not at the level of our first wave, but um, the fact that we are seeing more cases, um, it, it, it is concerning. The state determines risk by the average daily case rate. Framingham and the eight other communities in red are seeing a rate of over eight cases per 100,000 people. The uptick has health officials urging residents to stay vigilant. Wearing an effective face covering is still going to be a one single thing that is most effective in controlling the virus, short of a, a effective vaccine. I mean, it's kind of scary. Jonathan Montanez and Molly Ford say too many people are not wearing masks in crowded places. Yeah, you see a lot of people without masks and they like walk right next to you, like no concern of space, personal space or anything like that. It's just crazy to see that people aren't really taking it as seriously. They now fear the cases will continue to rise, setting the city back months. This is not going to help, and it could ruin our fall time. It's like a, a group thing, and if not everyone's doing their part, then things aren't going to get better. The health officials really hammering home the point that it is going to take everyone working together to curb this latest trend and avoid an outbreak. In Framingham, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.